X-ray tube. The X-ray tube used in dental machine is a coolidge or hot filament tube. It consists of an anode and a cathode enclosed in a slightly evacuated glass tube. X-ray tube used in dentistry is approximately 15 centimeters long and 1 inch in diameter. Now let's take a quick look at the parts of the X-ray tube. This is the X-ray tube, the cathode, anode, filament circuit, the tube head seal, aluminium discs, the lead collimator. This is the unleaded glass window of the X-ray tube and the position indicating device. The X-ray tube mainly consists of two parts, cathode and anode. Cathode consists of heated filament of tungsten that provides the source of electrons and focusing cup. Anode consists of target which is made of tungsten embedded in a copper block to allow dissipation of heat. For the production of X-ray, high voltage for acceleration of electron and current for generation of electron at cathode is required. Now let's take a look at the cathode. The negative terminal of the X-ray tube is called as cathode. Cathode is placed approximately 1 inch away from the anode. It consists of the focusing cup and filament. What exactly is the focusing cup? Filament is shaped in slot called focusing cup cut into the surrounding metal housing. It is made of molybdenum. It is negatively charged concave reflector cup. It focuses the narrow beam toward the focal spot which attracts negatively charged electrons. Focusing cup is designated so that its electrical forces cause electron stream to converge onto the target anode in the required size and shape. The focusing cup controls width of the electron distribution. The filament. The filament is made of tungsten similar to that of an ordinary light bulb. It is used in helical form. Tungsten is used because it can be drawn into a thin wire that is quite strong. It is of 2 mm in diameter and 1 cm in length. Filament is the source of electron within the X-ray tube. It is connected to the electric current. Filament has low evaporation at high temperature giving a reasonably long life to the tube. The advantage of low evaporation is that the filament does not become thinner. There is less tube failure due to wearing out of the filament. Now let's take a look at the anode. This consists of tungsten target and a copper stem. In stationary anode, tungsten target is in the form of a circular disc about 1 mm thick and 1 cm in diameter. Positive electrodes consist of thin tungsten set in a rod of copper the other end of which is attached to a radiator or some other cooling device such as an oil bath outside the glass tube. Target material. The ideal target material should be number one high atomic number. Target material must be sufficiently dense to stop the electron abruptly on its surface and thus to produce maximum conversion of kinetic energy into the x-ray energy. A high atomic number is indicative of high charge on the nucleus, causes which greater deceleration of bombarding electron that passes in vicinity of the nucleus. It results in production of high energy characteristic radiation. Low vapor pressure at high temperature. Since there is high temperature, an electron beam is directed to a very small area on the surface of an anode and some of the atom may reach vapor state. If the vapor pressure is high, the smooth surface of the target will be disturbed and blister may be formed. Third, high melting point. 
it should have high melting point since most of the energy received from the electron is converted into heat. High degree of thermal conductivity since great amount of heat formed at the focal spot must be carried to the radiator on the outside of the X-ray tube. Mechanical properties It should have suitable mechanical properties for construction purposes. Tungsten is used as target material as it has a high atomic number that is 74, high melting point that is 3370 degrees centigrade and has low vapor pressure at high temperature. It does not have a high degree of thermal conductivity. This defect can be overcome by embedding a thin button in a copper stem to form the anode. The mechanical properties of tungsten are suitable for molding, machining and other processes involved in the manufacture of the target. Copper stem. The electron beam impacts on this tungsten button and the heat generated is quickly transferred to the copper which possesses a high degree of thermal conductivity. The copper stem stores and carries the heat to the radiator. Focal spot. The area of target at which the electrons are absorbed and X-rays are generated is called the focal spot or focal area. The size and shape of the focal spot are determined by the size and shape of the electron stream when it hits the anode. Dimension of the filament, tungsten wire coil, construction of the focusing cup and the position of the filament in the focusing cup. Usually, there are two types of focal spot. The actual focal spot is the area on the anode that is struck by the electrons. An effective focal spot is the length and width of the emitted X-ray beam as projected down the central axis of the X-ray tube. Thank you.